Hello and welcome back to OK Academy with a new lesson and a topic in Reactive UI with Xamarin Forms. Today in this session we will talk about the basics of navigation in Reactive UI. How to navigate between pages from your view models without the need to write any code that's specific to Xamarin Forms in your view models and or write any code to navigate from code behind file for each pages. So we can implement something like this with sending piece of information like hello from the first page. You can go to second page like this and then you can navigate back. So before we proceed, I will talk about the basics of navigation. So here we have, as you know, in MVVM we have two parts views and view models. We don't need to talk about models in this section. Here in views we have something called routed view host. It's a class that inherits from page. So it's of type page. The base type is page that reflects all the navigation changes here that's happening in view models to the views. Now if you go to the view models or the logic we have an interface called iScreen. It is the root of the navigation process in Reactive UI. It's not only in Xamarin, you can use the same concept in UWP, WPF, or any .NET XAML based application. iScreen contains a property called Router. Router is an object that manages all the navigation process. It contains multiple properties, the collection of the navigation stack or the view model that you have navigated to and a comment that enables you to navigate to another view model and etc. Each view model implements iRoutable view model. This means that this view model is navigable so you can navigate to it via router. So what you have to do, first you have to create one instance of iScreen and host that instance inside the routed view host in the view. After that, you can use the router of this instance to navigate between pages or view models that implements iRoutable view model. When you navigate to iRoutable view model, this reflects the change in the routed view host and shows the associated page with this view model. It's something like this. Here I have an instance of routed view host. It is this whole page. And inside it, I have instance of the first page. It has an entry and a button. When I click this button, I have only one instance of ice screen, but inside the router of that screen, it navigated me to the second page and I can navigate back. So in the next video, we will go to Visual Studio and start to implement navigation and all the concepts that we have just talked about.